This is a really nice sequences problem from the 2025 JEE Advanced. It's an Indian university entrance exam that is notoriously difficult. This sequence actually simplifies down really nicely. Feel free to pause the video if you want to have a try yourself. Otherwise, let's do it together. The first thing we can do is recognize that sine of 118 is actually the same as sine of 62. Sine of 119 is the same as sine of 61 because the sine of 180 minus theta is equal to the sine of theta. So that last term is going to become one over sine 61, sine 62. So it probably fits better um, as the second term of the sequence between sine 60, sine 61 and sine 62, sine 63. We can do a similar thing for all the terms in the second half of our sequence. So with our new sequence, it's gonna end in the middle of the original sequence. The middle of the original sequence would have been halfway between 80 and 118. It's going to be sine 89, sine 90. So that is gonna be the final term in our new sequence. Now, if this is alpha, we're interested in cosec one divided by alpha. Cosec is one over sine, so we're interested in alpha times the sine of one. So we can write the sine of one on the top of all the fractions in our sequence. So I wonder if you can see what we could do from there. This is where I got stuck and I couldn't see how we could go any further. But what we can do is to write the one degree as a difference. So for example, sine of one, we can write a sine of 62 minus 61. That's good because we can expand that using a compound angle formula as sine of 62 cosine of 61 minus cosine of 62 sine of 61. And then this fraction we can split up into the difference of two fractions. In the first one, the sine of 62 is gonna cancel and in the second one, the sine of 61 cancels, leaving cos 61 over sine 61 minus cos 62 over sine 62. That is the cotan of 61 minus the cotan of 62. That's great because we can do a similar trick for all the fractions in the sequence. And we get a really nice, what we call telescoping sequence. Cot 60 minus cot 61 plus cot 61 minus cot 62 plus cot 62, etc. Most of those terms are gonna cancel out. In fact, all of them, except for the first term, cot 60 and the last term, cot 90. Pretty much there, we can evaluate cot 60 as one over square root three cot 90 is zero, and then what we want is the reciprocal, so flip it upside down, square it, and we get three. This is pretty nice, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching.